Colorado this week expects to release marijuana tax figures for December. That means we'll get a complete look at how much the state made in the first year of recreational sales. Mayor Peterson is at a pot dispensary in Aurora with the surprising ways that weed is growing on skeptics. Barry, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, when Colorado allowed marijuana sales for recreational use, it left it up to cities to decide if they wanted to allow or ban pot shops. Aurora is a city that most recently decided to allow marijuana sales, and people here have been pleasantly surprised by their new neighbors and are reaping some unlikely benefits. It's always good news in a city like Aurora when a new business is getting ready to open. And owner Matthew Aiken is looking forward to being part of the local economy. All the money that we make from our sales revenue is going to stay in Aurora. But Sweetleaf isn't just any business. This will be a pot shop. Aurora had been waiting to see how the experiment in recreational pot would pan out in nearby Denver. In October, Aurora's city council finally said OK. And now a city that had no pot shops will allow 24. One of those is Starbuds, recently opened by Brian Rudin, who already has two shops in Denver. One, two, three, four, six. But building an Aurora came with a price. Many local landlords didn't want to lease to a pot shop, and the city mandated strict building guidelines. So Brian bought this small, deteriorating strip mall, and that was just the beginning. The building had to be redone literally from top to bottom, from a new roof to painting the front, right down to repaving the parking lot. So how much are you in for, do you think, at this point? At this point, uh, a little less than a million dollars. To open a pot shop? Yes. You know, I did it because I think that this is a great opportunity. And in the long run, I believe it'll be a worthwhile investment. The marijuana welcome wagon includes Kevin Hogan, president of the Aurora Chamber of Commerce. Pot shops like Terrapin not only refurbished old buildings, they are also now chamber members. Did anybody call you up and say, how in the world could you do that? Or No, actually the calls have been, where are the locations? Aurora is guaranteed new tax revenue, but for pot shop owners, it's a gamble to see if they can recover the hundreds of thousands they have invested just to get up and running. How long do you think it's going to take you to recoup? Any idea? I have no idea, um, but it'll be a, a magnitude of years, not months. High times that come with high risk. This is the Terrapin Care Station, one of the first pot shops to open in Aurora. It used to be a vacant garage that the owner was struggling to rent. 